biracial. Transphobic white woman blasted, so this is, might even be somebody who's LGBT, just the fact that you would think that it's only LGBT that would use that. So this is, right, so this is not even like a representative, it's a queer woman who just wants to step in. and uh, Transphobic white woman blast for saying Zendia is a man. I can see that it's not a morally wrong act, so it doesn't matter what you call it. It doesn't. Like, it just means you're not using it properly. If it's meant to be something bad, their definitions of womanhood has zero to do with being a woman. Uh, what do you mean their definition? Is this supposed to be like a racist thing? What do you mean their definition? The only people I'm going to listen to on about womanhood who's a woman is going to be a heterosexual woman. I'm not listening to any LGBT anything on it. I, their their opinion on it is. Useless. That's what I mean by woman. A woman has a gendered connotation. Okay, stop these lesbians. They're trying to get rid of it. They're trying to say a woman is merely an adult, which is not. And it's not merely that. Just like a man is not. These terms have always been gendered. Man or woman have been gendered. That's the difference between male and female, that there's no gender connotation. Right? When we think women, you think of feminine and all those traits around it. It's not so simple. 15 years ago, everybody would have said that. It's like it's only in this last little time. I don't want the lesbians to define what a woman is. Right? A white woman is receiving backlash, probably unjustly, after making false transphobic claims that Zendia is a man in her TikTok. Over and over, that might be annoying, but if she just said it once, I mean, it's just like a fucking joke. Who cares? Like, it's like, a, I mean, I know what they're getting at. They're saying it because she's taller, so it looks, it does look a bit reverse gender rule it looks behind right it does look like that with her and that's why a white woman would say that because they're heteronormative right they're saying hey it's out of sync with you know and even i said as a short man not that it's always like if you have it just means we better make up for it and i mean i guess this guy is pretty popular anyway it's not like he's a whole he's spider-man so could be a wonderful guy a woman who describes herself as a conspiracy realist and goes by it's a right wing you know it's conspiracy goes by queen awake online to posted a tiktok falsely claiming that Zendia was born a male and then goes as far as to call her Mandea. <laughs> it's like a joke. He claims that Zendia has a male skeleton. This is like, this is the transvestigations type, right? That's why it says conspiracy realist. She's getting transvestigated, right? Everybody gets transvestigated. Like, she got transvestigated. They can't laugh it off because they want some points on this shit, right? Okay, she claims that Zendia has a male skeleton markers and goes on name parts of the star's body that she believes proof the actress is of the opposite gender. Yeah, they're harmless. The Daily Dot reached out to Zen. Look, she, you didn't even, did she even hear it? I didn't even hear it. Like, did she didn't even hear it. This is some person online just said that, and they're going so far as, like, they're going to go get the message. They're going to bring it to her and go, look, you folks are feel offended by this. Stick up for the trans people. Uh, the TikToker also stated that she believes that Spider-Man, no way home, called actor, was born female. <laughs> So they, they think it's a gender role reversal. Notice you don't get this from the black side, but you will get down it from the white side. <laughs> they will do it. They see like, if they see that the gender is not lined, that's what they're saying, that, that they think that. This woman saying, why can't black, I don't think she even sees her as a black one. She just looks like an almost white woman. She, she, she's just saying that generally. I don't think she's. Huh? Welcome to today's episode of celebrities that you didn't know were actually the opposite gender. We're going to be covering Mandaya. This is part of all that Hollywood conspiracy crap that I really tell you to stay away from it because a lot of it's bullshit. The right is very acceptable to conspiracy theories. Why? The religion. They have more imagination because of the religion. Like, because of the religion, you know, they have more room for magical things to happen or, right, or people to change bodies or something like that that, uh, that the religion allows. And so they're more likely to get caught up in these crazy. Okay, like, don't, I'm sure there's something going on in Hollywood, but there's, I think it would, I don't think it, would, it could have went on so long. Let's if it just really get right into it. it. By now, if you've been following my page for a minute, you know male skeleton markers. Skeleton marker number one, the straight across clavicle. We've got the brow ridge, we've got the deep socketed eye. So she's making a case. She's giving what she believes is her best evidence, whether it's true. That that doesn't mean it's going to be true. But to me, she sincerely, she sincerely believes this, and she's giving her best case. It's not, it's not a slur or hit piece, but that she sincerely, it believes that this was, this is what it is. So that's different, right? That's not, that's different from lying. To remember, I talked about it. That's misinformation. So if, right, it's, it's spreading misinformation about her, but it's not uh, the bigger crime, which is just straight out lying. Dental arch. We've got the can opener jaw. We've got the thick neck. Uh, we've got the shaped like a V. We've got these really, really, really long arms and really big hands. These are just a few of the opposite gender markers. There are others to confirm, but when in doubt, 
I was just talking about this yesterday. I was talking about uh, was it gender markers? Yeah, and the gender signifiers, certain certain parts that are particular to a gender. The Look at gender the significant signifiers. other or the spouse. Hey, this is just too easy. We have Tammy Holland over here. Body shape goes out like a peplum top. Got the very <laughs> delicate wrist. Because he's small, they look. So see, she's bigger than him. So I could see him. Have a lack of brow ridge. Um, no Adam's apple. Um, smaller skull. And then in comparison to Mandea, it's very, very obvious that this this individual has male skeletal markers and this has female skeletal. They all worship Baphomet, which is a transgender god that they have. This is their religion. Study these markers so that you aren't deceived. Why can't black women just live? Yeah, she's saying she's a conspiracy realist. She's opening up and saying, yeah, I am a conspiracy theorist. So like, like uh, Alex Jones, but Alex Jones is warning you. Say, hey, look, I'm just conspiracy. You know, this is what I am. So, you know, you can take it or leave it. You can believe it or not.